there. Happy America. I came over to Tommy's house to work on the old vibranium shield because I didn't have a handle for it. It's arranged to spin it and it's magnetic so I can take it off and put it on here. Now, Tommy helped me put a handle on there to modify it and it's pretty awesome because it can spin, which, you know, there's no need for that, but it's kind of cool because um, it's magnetic. So, see? So I can throw it, right? If you can see. And it's a really strong magnet that goes on there. And you have that. Yeah, it doesn't really have to spin, right? Um, but, and then I have this, so it clips on, clips on to the old, the old backpack, you see. And you're ready, right? And again, I can throw it. Right? Thanks, Tommy. I'm officiating a wedding tomorrow. It has like a cool, it's like, since it's a, since it's a ball bearing, you can have, get like cool shots with it. Whenever I need a specialized weapon, <clears throat> whenever I need a specialized weapon for fighting crime, such as vibranium, I know just who to bring it to. You tell me it's got all kinds of chemicals and stuff over there that can uh, poke a hole in vibranium, titanium, all of those things. So he's kind of like my, uh, what is that, Q? James Bond? I think it's Q. You're my Morgan Freeman from Batman. We are testing the magneticness of the shield. Okay. It's not easy to drill through vibranium. <laughs> Jesus. I ordered that from Wakanda. <laughs> Nigerian Prince sent me the number for it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, it was pure vibranium, he assured me. Indestructible, he said. Indestructible. Huh? Mark it and drill it. Mark it and drill it. <laughs> the ancient technique of. This is awesome. We've got to get this ready. Even though Tommy's wedding is tomorrow, this I've gone ahead and paused him because next week I'm going to be, uh, you know, meeting Captain America. So, big deal. All right, here we are. Here we are. This That's is the nice. uh, the eve of Tommy's no longer bachelorness. One, two, three, four. Five, That's right, six, seven. ladies. It's just gonna be me now. Good old <laughs> single Pringle. <laughs> we are setting up for the most spectacular wedding extravaganza that there is. I personally helped set up four chairs a personal record Rolling? Yep. 
Does it look all right? Yep. Hello there. I'm Professor Presley. And you know me as a paranormal investigator. Well, we found something here that's pretty spectacular. Take a look at this. You see this? Do you know what this is? You have there. Is it evil? Is it a ghost? It's not evil, but it's powerful. This is Professor Presley's Paranormal Peppers, a habanero-based pepper sauce. Not too hot, but full of flavor. Professor Presley's Paranormal Peppers. It's, it's a, a habanero-based hot sauce. It is an out-of-body experience in a jar. For the best of persons, paranormal peppers. Get some to me. So here's the way you do it right here. You whip you up some uh, mac and cheese, you know, fancy. Go $3 instead of 53 cents. Then you grab you some of Professor Presley's paranormal peppers here. Get a little bit of that. Then you go ahead and dump that in there. Doop, doop, doop to taste. And uh, then maybe you take a spoon. And there you have it. Paranormal habanero mac and cheese. Better than a burnt stick in the eye. Taped fruit by the foot to my fan and then eat the fruit by the foot. As it's spinning, gets my motor skills up. B, eat fruit by the foot faster. Three, entertainment while having dinner. <laughs> Am I a genius? We'll find out. First of all, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. Hey, Carl Weathers, is fruit by the fan a good idea? There you have it. Let's do this. We're about to make history, guys. Fruit by the fan. I got it. Jump. Crew by the fan. Terrible idea. It will whip the shit out of you. Pretty badass. Perfect, thank you. Little wind, everyone. Have a drinky, it's gonna be fine. It happens in weddings all the time. Some pirate. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts, and to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words which shall unite this couple in marriage. Should there be anyone who has cause why this couple should not be united in marriage? Shush. 
Today, we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it with their wedding. A good marriage must be created. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you every day. And it's not just marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Tommy. Thomas. Repeat after me. I, Thomas Joseph McMahon, take you, Don Murphy, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Don, please repeat after me. I take you, Tom, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And now, the rings. Jose, if you would, please. Ah, oh, look at those beautiful rings. Thomas McMahon promised to love, honor, cherish, and protect Dawn, forsaking all others and holding only unto her. I do. <laughs> Tommy, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect Dawn, forsaking all others and holding only unto her? I do. Do you, Dawn, take Tommy? Do you promise, <clears throat> do you, Dawn, promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect Tommy? forsaking all others and holding only unto him. I do. Rings are an unbroken circle of love, signifying to all the union of this couple in marriage. Tommy, repeat after me. This ring is my sacred gift with my promise that I will always love you, cherish you, and honor you all the days of my life. And with this ring, I thee wed. Dawn, please repeat after me. This ring is my sacred gift with my promise that I will always love you, cherish you, and honor you all the days of my life. And with this ring, I thee wed. By the power vested in me by the great state of Nevada, in the city of Reno, in the county of Washoe, in the neighborhood of Pebble Creek. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. All right, we're losing the light, people. We're losing the light. Get your shit together. We're rolling. It's fine. He, he can hold it in his other hand, I think. We are gathered here today to celebrate the, one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. The great state of Nevada in the city of Reno. In the county of Washoe, in the town of Pebble Creek, I pronounce you 
man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Okay, cut.